Lower Leonopolis is widely considered to be among the most beautiful beach destinations in Brazil. The setting here, surrounded by inland mountains, makes for a spectacular scenic backdrop. More than a half million people live here, but it has a much more laid back, casual, even semi-rural feel, depending on where you are. The city proper with its colonial downtown is on the mainland with most of the rest of Floripa spread out on bridge-connected Santa Catarina Island, which is 30 miles long and boasts some five dozen beaches. You think of the great beaches of Brazil, and of course your mind goes to Rio and Benima and Copacabana, but honestly, for a combination of beach and nature, what could be better than this? <laughs> there are said to be 60 beaches in this city, which is to say, on this island. And uh, it's hard to figure how one could be much better than the other. But here I'm walking along the beach near Barra de Lagoa, the fishing village, and there's just mile after mile a beach. Santa Catarina is 30 miles long. And with the curvatures, uh, there's a lot more mileage beach-wise than there is island north to south. In the village, I found both birds and people relaxing. Including these guys over a lively game of tranca. Some others, not so much. Many of the streets in this village are not streets at all, they're walkways that uh, connect houses as well as businesses on one side of this inlet and it's a rather idyllic village surrounded by banana trees and all manner of tropical plants. There's a stream that divides it that spills into the ocean and then there's the ocean beach itself. Not a bad place to live a more simple life. Many of the fishermen literally park their boats next to their homes. It's a very nice arrangement. These exotic birds, herons and some pelican and other birds, lost their fear of humans, it appears. Just sitting on a bench several feet away from some birds that weren't bothered at all that I was there. Just uh, another day in paradise for them. In much of Spanish-speaking South America, one is accustomed to cities that date to the 1530s. But of course, this is Brazil, settled by the Portuguese, and they were here a bit earlier, in 1514. And while things were slow to develop by the mid-1600s, the port here had become strategic, being about halfway between Rio de Janeiro and Buenos Aires, the two largest cities on or near the Atlantic coast of South America at the time. Florianopolis got its jump start in the mid-1700s 
when Portuguese immigrants began pouring into here from the Azores Islands. The Azorean influence is still very much alive today, both in the architecture and the food here. Well, she's selling bolachas, which are, as I understand it, cookies. Sugar cane juice. And it looks as though he's uh, pouring a complete plastic bottle full. That's guaranteed to get you going. Your sugar cane, and uh, let's just say too risky. You could come to Florianopolis and never even come downtown, never even come to the center. You'd have a wonderful time, I guarantee, but still you'd be missing something because there's something very authentic about this city, especially the, the historic center of it. High tech companies located here and so there's there's a lot going on. But in the center, and I'm on a, a main walking street in the historic district, things are just very, very laid back. I'm almost embarrassed about it, but I find myself speaking Spanish to many of these Portuguese speakers. Uh, this is not Foz de Iguazu, it's not the border. And if you stop and ask somebody, do you speak English? More often than not, they'll say no. And then if you say, do you speak a little Spanish? And tell them that in Spanish, more often than not, they'll say no. So what do you do? Knowing that Spanish is closer to Portuguese than English, I just begin speaking Spanish and nine times out of ten, whoever it is I'm speaking to understands me sufficiently enough to give me an answer. Although I think some people must think, what is this crazy guy doing? He's speaking Spanish in Brazil and he expects us to understand. Well, I guess it would be different if they didn't, but they do for the most part. I'm here in the public market and it has a commonality with many Latin American public markets in that it's across the street from a central bus station. But that's where the commonality sort of ends because this is uh, by most standards an upscale public market and it's a blend of mostly handicrafts and tourist items and souvenirs along with loads of places to eat both indoors and in the open air as I'm about to show you again it's a, a very chill atmosphere in here there's not a lot of loud noise there's it's, it's more like a, uh, a, a murmur the people are enjoying themselves. They're watching uh, football games on big screen TVs. And by football, of course, I mean soccer if you're from the United States. And the mood is uh, quite laid back for a Monday afternoon. 
Do you ladies speak English? More or less. It sounds like more than less to me. Less. <laughs> Well, it's another beautiful morning and I've headed to another beautiful beach. This one being Praia Mole or Mole Beach, which is uh, among the more famous of Floripas beaches. And uh, I don't see how it could be much better than the one I was at earlier, but we'll see. It's just a gorgeous day here. It was supposed to rain today. It rains often here but no sign of it at the moment. If you're a surfer and hear the word Praia Mole or Mole Beach, you probably need no further explanation. Uh, this beach is renowned for its surfing and uh, it's a prestigious location on the Association of Surfing Professionals World Tour. looking around at this beautiful beach with its rolling hills and rock formations. You don't have to be a surfer to appreciate that this is a special place. You know, I've gotten off the bus here, not because I knew the name of the place where I was getting off, or even had one in mind particularly. It's just that when you travel this island from north to south, south to north, you see places, you get off to take a closer look, and there's really no disappointment because all of it is beautiful. Até que eu não faço questão de esconder. Até que eu não faço questão de esconder.